Hello, my dear friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Yulia, and I talk about all things Canada, studying, working, renting apartments. And today we're going to be talking about the last one, how to rent an apartment in Canada. Things you need to know, some tricks that might be helpful in your apartment search. So if you're interested in this topic, then keep on watching. Normally in Canada, we rent our apartments for a year, but we also have a thing called sublet or sublease. Basically, when you have a contract for a year and let's say in eight months, you decided to move in with your partner. So you have four months left. You can sublet your apartment for this period of time to another person, to your friend, to whoever you want and say, hey, I pay $1,000 for my apartment. If you sublet for this amount of money, you're gonna pay the same price, even though it's gonna like increase after the contract is over. So your friend can sublet your apartment for this period of time or he can re-sign the contract and stay longer for another year, let's say. This is a perfect option if you come in to a new city and you're not sure where to live. Instead of paying a lot of money for Airbnbs, you can always look at sublets and find something for like a month, maybe or two, three, for a short period of time. Well, that sounds like a good deal. So when is the best time to look for an apartment? I would say two, three months before you want to move in because if you look too early let's say half a year in advance if you look too close to the date there's not going to be a lot of options available but two three months is the perfect timing if you want to find your dream apartment and move in like right when you want to one thing to mention here first of july in canada is canada day but in quebec we have the moving day so if you want to go to montreal for canada day just don't because people are moving there are a lot of furniture couches chairs tables everywhere in the city because people are literally moving and there is literally nothing to do on canada day in montreal true story <laughs> What documents would you need to rent an apartment in Canada? First of all, you'll need to pay for your first and last month. This way the landlord will have your money in case you break something, in case something happens. Some of the landlords ask for a deposit, let's say 500 bucks, 600 bucks. But again, it always depends on the property. If you have an apartment for like 2K a month, then obviously the landlord will ask you for a deposit. If you rent in a studio for 600 bucks, then most likely you won't have any deposits at all. Again, depending on the type of the apartment you're looking for, the landlord may ask you for your reference letter from the past landlords for a letter from your job let's say when I moved to Montreal I just got a job so I got a letter from my employer saying this is Yulia she's gonna be working for us here's her salary the duration of employment is unlimited because she's full-time blah 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 I showed it to my landlord and he's like okay cool perfect some of the landlords will ask you for like credit scores credit checks some letters from like canadian citizens but again this will most likely happen in big cities like toronto vancouver where you have a lot of people and a lot of expensive housing in montreal i've never been asked for like a reference letter for anything same in ottawa like when i found my apartment the landlord was literally like Oh, you guys are students. Oh, you're gonna be studying for like another year or two. Yeah, this is awesome. You can just pay for like the first and the last month and we're like good to go. Nothing, no papers, no nothing. But the apartment costed us $1,200, which is not that high compared to Vancouver prices to Toronto prices. So yeah. That is awesome. If you're moving from another city or another province, you can always move just using your car if you don't have much stuff but we also have a lot of moving companies here in canada we have services like u-haul it's basically like a big car that you rent and then you like place all your belongings there and drive where you're gonna live next you can always rent a car you can always take uber that's what i did when i was moving in montreal because my apartments were literally next to each other like two blocks i brought some stuff by feet i just took my bags my backpacks and i brought it to my new apartment but other stuff that was like heavy like table 
chairs like all this kind of stuff i just took an uber and the guy helped me with like loading unloading all my things into the car nice nice very nice how am i supposed to pay for an apartment so we have a bunch of options here but again it all depends on your landlord on the building because some of the landlords they still accept checks like physical checks. I myself paid for my apartment with my debit card, with my credit card, literally like swipe and you're done. Some of them take just cash. So you should ask that before signing any documents, because if you can't pay, let's say with your card or with cash, it might be a bit of a problem. That sounds like a problem. Can I move in earlier or move out later? Again, this depends on your landlord, on the building rules. Some of the landlords are pretty much okay with you moving in a couple days before the official date, but some of them might be like, yeah, pay us for two nights, and you're like, nope. So be careful. Ask your landlord if there is a chance you can move a day or two earlier. Most likely they will say yes, same with moving out. But again, if you are moving out, let's say July 1st, and there's a person who is renting your apartment from July 1st, most likely you'll need to move out a couple of days before because the landlord need to fix everything to like clean to paint if needed so moving in earlier yes moving out later i don't think so not possible don't give me not possible and the last section here is pets can i have my pet in the apartment again everything depends on your building on your landlord because if you want to have a husky it's a huge dog first of all it's loud. When the dog's gonna be like running around, your neighbor's gonna be hearing all that sounds. Again, big dogs, a lot of fur, a lot of stuff, because people after you might be allergic, so the landlord will need to clean all the, like, the walls, the floors and stuff like that, so for this reason they might not allow pets in the apartment. Also, dogs, cats, whoever, they break things. Even our tiny fluffy cat destroyed like half of our apartment because it's just like, it's crazy. His claws are like everywhere, like everything is like ruined. Anyway, you should ask your landlord. I lived in an apartment where they were like, no, no pets, no nothing. But then I brought this little guy and I was like, but he's so cute. Can he live with me? And they were like, yeah, sure. He, he's fine. Like, he's not that bad. So you should always talk to the person who is renting you the apartment and ask if there's a chance that a tiny little cat can live with you. Adorable. Simply adorable. And this is it for today. If you guys have any other questions in regards of renting apartments in Canada, you can leave them in the comment section down below and I'll see you very soon. Bye!